Do you want to learn the secrets behind Mindplex Clan's player base? Do you want to learn how to make an inescapable trap in Mindplex Clan's? Then stay tuned for this video and subscribe for more and more Mindplex Clan secrets. Been yearning for a mundane Minecraft experience known as Mindplex Clan's. Do you wish to be the leader of your own civilization and conquer others? Do you wish to become a tyrant and destroy everyone in your pet? Well, you're going to need to learn how to do it. So this is How To Mindplex Clans. And let's jump right into this. What is up humans? This is the Diamond Invader and welcome back to How To Mindplex Clans. So, today I'm gonna do some stuff. Not sure what, but I reinvented some some more additional traps. Now, one thing I have to tell you, it shouldn't show up for y'all, but it, I'm doing this here. Is that half my screen completely glitched? So yeah, I can ba barely see off of half of it, and it just looks a bit slanted, like uh, that. That number six looks like a letter E. So yeah, just needed to say that out of the way first. All right. Like and only like about half of the middle part showing. Luckily, I could still make out these, so that's nice. All right. Don't know if it was that guy, that guy, but I don't think so. I, I haven't seen this before yet. So, as you usual, you're gonna see this first. How how to design bases with Invader. And these are the best bases you can have if you're new to Mindplex Clans. See? With this new design, there are only four small, tiny escape points that they can barely get through. If I really wanted to, I could cover this up, but I don't really care to. Okay, so you can see this covers them in. So if they happen to have a uh, legend on them and they fall in your moat, they can't win their way out as easy. And this leads to my next invention. This. These are going to be lined with dispensers as well that will shoot down. You can run across them and it will do damage to them. To whoever is down below, you will not get the war point. Oh gosh, it says it's it says I'm recording for 13 minutes, but I know it's actually true. Okay, yeah, it's that off. So uh, let's see. I gotta put this here. Have to melee an assassin, so it's really good for that as well. If you if you don't have an assassin kit. Okay. Uh, I saw whatever. Let's just put this here. Two. I'm gonna fill it in anyways. Then just do like so. I still need a heck of a lot more, but this is a nice little design that I have here, and I hope you all enjoy it. Okay. By the way, I don't. I should have named this how to base. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go find someone to attack. One of those two. And they're gonna own me because there's two of them. The more you have in the clan, the more chances you have to. Uh... Wow, I completely missed an event. Okay, so I guess we're gonna forget about doing that part this episode. But we can go after, so that's nice. Oh, I could use these. Found an unclaimed base. I'm gonna need these. We got a war point? Water?
All right. All right, I'm gonna head back to my base and we're gonna get that war, give him that war point. You should never really believe anyone in clans because they're all very, very deceitful, but uh, screw it. For the face of the video, this is what we were planning on, so let's just go for it. Will do, human will do. What in the heck happened to them? Alright, okay, I'm at the spot. Boy, I'm lagging a bit. Okay, so that's their, where their base is at. Oh, wow. Well, that was random. I'm here. Here. Okay, so like a. All right. Okay, so I chops us right there, so we're fine. Um, that is not the correct area. Right, this is, this is the correct area. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay, so... Let's see, you know, this normally doesn't happen. Okay. And now the war point is zero. So let's head on back over there. Go to east. I don't know which way that is, but I but that's the right one, I guess. Oh wow, he actually gave it back. I am really surprised folks, I, that's only happened to me two other times on Clans. And I've been playing it for years, since season one. Huh, that is really amazing, I did not think that was possible. Well. I'm honestly speechless, y'all. Okay, I think that says 10 minutes. All right, right now, it's at a 1. Heck, it could be 11 minutes for all I know. I really need to move that tinny with this uh, glitch here happening for me. Okay. Okay, so let me explain it to you. Alright, so war points, it's basically when you, um, is like every time you die, you lose a war point to whichever clan that killed you. War points are really important in hardcore. Hardcore, it allows you to actually raid other clans, destroy their base, and gain access to all of their stuff, even though it is in their territory. So that means, but you have to get like 25 first, I believe. You get 25 kills on someone or their clan, their whole base gets into siege mode or invasion mode or whatever. You go there, you basically 
go raid their stuff, go there with a TNT cannon, which is a sponge by the way, textured sponge. You will use that, go boom boom, and then you blow up their base and all of that. That's basically how it works. And then uh, if they do that to you, then your base is basically toast. Unless you can gain enough clan members to fight them off at the moment. So that's basically the idea behind war points. He really... I really didn't have to give him his back. Mainly because he would have gotten it back anyway because I'm really bad at PvP. So player versus player. So that's that. Hey, we got a kit from it, a set, so that's nice. I'm going to put two of these here, just because, and that will do nicely. Okay, this was the armor chest, but I stored some stuffs in there. Golden coin, you get enough of that, you can cash it in or cash it out, basically. Okay, boom, boom, bam, bam. This in here, done, excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody. I get to show you how this automatic farm works. Semi-automatic, actually. All right, so uh, I just put this here because folks could have still broke it in the old base design. I simply must remember to use this new base design. And you can feel free to use them too. In your clan ventures, clan adventures. Where the heck did the boy? Okay. Why are you flying over there, dirt? I'm supposed to pick you up and put you down. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Excellent. I need to make a block here. Okay, so that's basically how it does. You break the dirt, you can put some crop land up here too. I'm gonna separate these eventually into their own designated farm areas. But as of right now, I'm going to keep them together. You still have to plant all of these normally. It's a shame, but hey. It works. Remember back in the original days of plan, I could just redstone this up and down, but uh Handplex apparently hates fun in clans. Even took away the ability to get die the normal way. Now you have to buy it. This one is but also kinda isn't Mindplex's fault. But all the cheaters now. Goodness gracious. Alright. Okay, so this would be a check. And that's still technically a check, so I'll accept that. This is going to be my most technically technically advanced based since season two. Season 2, we had super furnaces and redstone traps as well. So, yeah, can't really talk that since redstone isn't here. Mindplex, if you're listening, here's my idea. Here's what you need to do. Okay? Get a whole designated Minecraft server. Mindplex server, I mean. Like maybe clan's tree or something. Enable redstone on that and enable free collars or dyes or, or whatever. 
basically make it exactly like season one. We're still gonna have the cheaters, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have ways to combat them and all of that. So yeah. Just do that and it would be amazing. And we it could just be like like original clans or something like that. And I can guarantee that would bring most of the player player base back because some friends of mine don't really play this anymore mainly because of that issue okay how did I forget one day okay done by the way creepers do something really different in plans we have a wild creeper Sneaking up on it is a dangerous task. It's as if it does not see me because of the tall grass. But if I hit it, it will attack. Okay. This one's friendly. Let's go to this one. Alright, here's the Jake. You go flying. And it doesn't destroy blocks. So yeah, that's quite nice. So you don't have to worry about them destroying your base or nothing. You build it, you're good. Until TNT comes in. Just had a panic attack because the phone said that a church was on fire. But here's the reason I had the panic attack. It's because earlier it said breaking news the Trump and Iran was getting into something with submarines. And you know, and we all know what's in submarines, so it happened in fall. So I uh, yeah, that's what happened. I ain't gonna say more in case you don't know. It's best to stay peaceful on the subject. Alright, what the heck was I doing? Up here, so it's gonna be nice and everything. Hello, test pilot. So, I had to uh, pretend this is a human. Well, a living one. Okay, so this would be a main skit. They would be able to instantly pop themselves out of there. But do this quick enough. Boom, bam. They are stuck. Super stuck. Okay, so basically just like that. And they are dead. And they keep trying too hard for... To go here leave that open but boom i am so good at these traps i haven't really seen them in clans so and i basically all i do is just wander looking for unclaimed bases or nearly unclaimed bases so yeah i've seen a lot of different bases okay so here's basically how it looks plus i'm gonna have some footage of me not speaking.
So, yeah, yeah, alright, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to probe that like button and invade that subscribe button for more videos such as this one, share this with your allies and comment down below, and until next time, Invader out. What's up humans, welcome to the outro, subscribe and like the video, share this with everybody that you know, until next time I gotta go.